Hello and welcome out to this week's episode of Outbreak Gamers. I'm your host, uh, David Anthony, Web Dave, big fat guy sitting in the chair. That's me. I answer to any of those things. So I uh, also uh, just let you know that uh, I am very pleased to have with me Tavish, who is from Nerd Propellant, which is a really cool Etsy site, which we're going to get into and, and know all about that. Tavish, how are you doing today, sir? Don't forget you're muted. Uh, I am doing good. How about you? Doing good, man. Doing good. Fantastic. A lot of crazy stuff going on in the world of gaming right now, and uh, so yeah. So, but but we're still we're still here and hanging on, man. How how are you feeling today, man? Uh, not too bad. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. I'm not sure. You're in the Midwest somewhere in that ballpark, right? You're central. I'm in Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky. So I'm a little I'm a little bit north of you. I'm in uh, outside of St. Louis. So it's actually decent weather for you know February, I suppose. No complaints. There you go. There you go. I think it was 60 last time I checked here. Earlier. Yeah. Yeah. About right. So yep. That's it. That is that is nice. It is nice weather. I will take it all day, all day long. Uh, all right. So, uh, Tavish, um, let us uh, find out a little bit more about you. And I always like to ask, at least start off with, um, like, what um, what was like the first job you ever had? Uh, let's see. So I think when I was I was probably twelve. I think eleven or twelve. I I, I was paid to paint. Um, so like logos for like local high schools, uh, at a batting cage, I was late, I was paid a bunch of, uh, a bunch of free popcorn and free, uh, root beer, nice. uh, with a little bit of money, not very much money. Um, you know, probably broke some labor laws, but whatever. And I painted a bunch <laughs> of, a bunch of stuff on the, on the walls of the batting cage and then ran a lot of the batting stuff. I used to be a big ball player. So that was kind of my, <clears throat> my into starting to make some money off of something I actually cared about and haven't looked back since with that kind of thing. So that's very cool. Very cool. Uh, that's nice. So I guess that kind of got your um, creative side, your artistic side going, I guess. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was always artistic. Uh, I was really into comic book, like specific, not many comic books, but specifically spawn was something that I always like, I was, mm. I would read those and be like, Jesus, these, these are, this art is incredible. It's way better than yeah. everybody else's art in comic books. So I never got into like Spider-Man or Superman really, but, Spawn stuff I, I got real into, uh, and that kind of first got me actually painting a little bit. I actually, until f relatively recently, I guess besides whenever I was you know 12 or whatever that was back in the mm -hmm. day, the batting cage, until, I don't know, four or five years, sorry, my dog's laugh, four or five Yours. years ago, I uh, didn't really do a lot of painting. I, did, was more, I was a portrait artist a little bit um, after high school to make ends meet. Uh, <laughs> most, I hated it with a passion. Uh, so stopped doing that and, uh, focused on, on my baseball career for a little bit there. And then after what that was done, focused on my educational career. So I, I'm a, my, my real, real job, my big kid job is mm -hmm. a physics professor and researcher. So, uh, nice. that's my sort of big kid job, but the, yeah, this, this Etsy stuff is, is sort of what I love to do on the side. I really like you know, being able to give something from a cool game that everybody loves and make it sort of a real thing that they can have in their home and, and, you know, love that kind of stuff. So, well, you do good work. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. I we are going to, yeah. we are going to go show the, the site here in a little bit. And of course, it'll the description below. Um, and if you're, even if you're listening later on audio, this will definitely be uh, the description. will have the link in it where you can click right directly and go right to the Etsy site where um, you get to see uh, Nerd Propellant's uh, cool art and cool stuff that he has available. And it's uh, it's some really 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 cool stuff. We're very impressed and we and we love it. And um, so so there you go. In fact, we were talking in the green room about something I might uh, order from you myself here before nice. long. Nice. So. Don't forget the coupon <laughs> code for anybody who clicks over there. I think it's Gamers <laughs> Council twenty. I believe. I think so. I think so. It'll it'll be in the description right right with the right <laughs> yeah, with the link. Yeah. So. Don't have to worry about that. I promise you. We'll we'll take care of you <laughs> on that one. Um. So um. With that uh, in mind, I guess. Um. Well, I will. Why? Harten back real quick. You you talked about um. I guess the spawn. There's a yep. Todd McFarlane, right? Big yep, fan yep, of his. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Have Breaking you ever met Polo Todd? and him? I've not. I've not had the pleasure of meeting Mr. McFarland. That'd be great, but uh, yeah. I've never met the guy. No. Well, <laughs> I've I've actually met him twice. Nice. <laughs> so. Uh, once as a GameStop manager at one of our conferences, and then once when I went to E3, uh, he wow, was there man. as well. Uh, and uh, he, he's he is so intense, I but bet. excited, but he's super nice. I mean, because some people think you know, oh, he's arrogant, but 
he is super not. <laughs> that's, that. awesome. that's awesome. Yeah, he's he's really a good down to earth guy. In fact, in my other studio, uh, I'll have to show it to you later. Get a picture of him, send it to you. But um, I've got um, an autograph fun post. Oh, here. nice. Yeah, signed by him stuff and framed. And it's in the studio there. Uh, don't have room for it in here because it's uh, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of stuff in there. I I got so much art and stuff hanging up that it's that's like awesome. I just I don't have I don't have room for it in every room in my house. My wife would kill me. But uh, but yeah, no, that uh, we'll have to work he, on get you some more, uh, get you some more, uh, some of my, yes, stuff yeah, yeah, I definitely the, uh, some your stuff up for sure. He's he was really big into hockey stuff too. I don't know if you, you I don't know if you know that about mm -hmm. him. He was really been to like, I think it's like Canadian hockey. He like had like a whole Canadian hockey little like kids' league or something. It's really wild. Mm -hmm. That but is the, awesome. Uh, yeah, he, I mean, can you imagine a spawn game like a, a proper one these days? Uh, that, yeah. that's something I feel like Xbox should look into. Yeah. yeah. Well, somebody should look into it. Somebody Xbox should. or somebody, for sure. Somebody for but yeah, sure. Xbox yeah, would yeah. be good because that would definitely be the on-brand, as it were, with the yeah, uh, yeah. Soul Calibur tie-in <clears throat> that they did. So, Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. That. yeah the, the Xbox version of Soul Calibur for a while, their, their, their figure was Spawn. So I thought that was cool so on, if you had the Xbox version. So that was really cool. That was really cool. Um, well, enough about that. Let's get back to you. <laughs> so uh so i guess um how did you get into to gaming what was your like your first gaming experience um for video games let me try to think it would have been probably pong or something like that on the atari my grandma had uh i think it was atari 2600 i believe nice. uh that they she bought only for so when me and my my older brother would go over to, and she would you know babysit her uh, babysit us or we'd go over there to see her just mm -hmm. to keep us occupied because you know little kids in the 80s and 90s that's what you had so <clears throat> um yeah so we did we we every we would always want to go over there and, and and play with whatever that stuff was I, I distinctly remember certain games being like loving them but also just thinking back it's like god that was a terrible experience <laughs> like those games were just like they were too hard but you're you're a kid and you're stupid so you don't realize mm -hmm. that like it nothing you're not progressing and nothing is happening you're just kind of running around but it's, it's just a kick to be able to like you know move a joystick or whatever it was around and sort of see somebody moving around on your tv was super cool so, mm -hmm. so it was way back then in the back before the before the nes days even so first stuff yeah. i think i did back then that's cool that's cool so i mean obviously um with with your etsy shop and, and the stuff that you're that you produce I mean, gaming seems to be a little bit of a, uh, at least a hobby for you. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then I guess, how did you, how did, like, current gaming, we, we can speed up to that. Like, like, because I know some of the things that you, that you do are, um, I guess, some of the games that you, you, you are represented in your shop is like Sea of Thieves is one of them. So, yep, yep. So, what was yeah, it? Yeah, so, like, what was it before that yeah. that got me into that? Yeah, so whenever I got, started with the etsy shop thing it would have been 2018 is when i decided i was going to go ahead and start doing that and what i that kind of got got kicked off because my fiance and i bought a house uh and we had a uh, we, we had moved from a very tiny house to a much larger about a house about three times as big as we were had been lived in before so we had a lot of room to like okay i guess we have to decorate this and we're both gaming kind of nerds so it's like what are we going to do with the foyer and whatever? So the foyer, we, we were going to put this, um, we came up with the idea to have like a big fish tank that was going to be like Bioshock themed and like, you know, had a, uh, cool. I was going to have like a cop, like a replica of Rapture, like at the bottom of it, you know, mm -hmm. and, and everything and have like a lighthouse sort of suit, like kind of with a glass thing to hold it. So, so it looks like it's floating uh, at the top there. Got super into it and then realized like, okay, now all I have to do is <laughs> figure out how to, how to how to buy or where to get some replica of rapture which turned out to be a lot harder than we realized mm -hmm. uh and so when we looked into it it's like you know i can get 3d models off the internet maybe i should just look at printing this um girls be quiet but I was, maybe i should look <laughs> into printing this uh and i don't know maybe I'll find somebody to paint it because i wasn't real big on painting um so got a 3d printer decided well i can just wire this up and paint it so we did that uh looked really cool and then i had some we had some friends come over for something um and we never really quite finished the the, the bioshock fish tank thing but we had parts of it like the lighthouse and everything out and people would be like damn that looks really cool like 
you know, they instantly recognized what it was with the Art Deco aesthetic and everything. And so decided that um, maybe we should, you know, think about just decorating ourselves just by just buying everything uh, or instead of buying everything, just getting, you know, making everything ourselves. And one of the first things we saw online was uh, a, a skull uh, that uh, I, I talked to the person about and said, hey, do you mind if I print this and use it in my house? And they were like, yeah. And they wanted to go into business right away. And I was like, hold on. <laughs> well, what is this business stuff? I don't know. I don't know if I want to invest anything just yet. Uh, but we printed it. And then after we printed it and we, we painted it, and it was like, damn, this actually turned out so good with relatively... Um, minimal effort i suppose at least it seemed that way uh that we decided you know what this is actually something we maybe we could go into business and, and work with so a buddy of mine garrett does the he's sort of my, my senior artist uh at least 3d modeler guy so he designs a lot of the stuff uh and i work with him on that and sort of guide him through that and then we we put it together and print it out and make it and ship it to people and i want to say 20 october 6th i believe 2018 was the first time we listed an item and in about a half hour it sold uh and then we listed a few more and i think by the end of that holiday we had sold like about 200 items um so we were <laughs> wow. off to a pretty decent start like a lot more than i was expecting so more yeah. than even sort of an optimistic sort of guess um and kind of got really ingrained with the um see if these people sort of that community on twitter and online um so i know like some of the devs and talk to them sometimes and some other uh, prominent people in the community like captain logan i know him a little bit um he's super big in the sea of thieves obviously but he uh yeah. so you know kind of got connected to some of those uh some of that pe the people in that community some of the streamers and i found uh, there was an up-and-coming streamer at the time a uh, guy go goes by the name of captain falcor who's fantastic to listen to by the way so he's a he's a, he's a comedic uh sort of streamer and you know focus on sea of thieves and i was able to sort of do some just reached out and said hey let's do some promotional work see if we can figure something out nice. and sent sent them some free skulls and he sort of showed them off and sort of blew up and uh in early 2019 and it's kind of been i i i've had a, a a queue of of orders to work through uh literally ever since i've never i've never actually got through uh the point where i can exhaust all the all the orders so i've been, been busy ever since i suppose that's so good that thing. Was, yeah, that's how I cracked into it a little bit. That's very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, so, so you said you 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 put a few. Did you put a few? Was it the Etsy shop or was it like eBay or how? What, what was your What was your first like? What, no, what, I just put them on. Put it, but yeah, I, we just did it on Etsy. I've never done on it. Etsy. Okay, cool. With, with I, I didn't know. If, I mean, you know, if like a because some people, you know, it's I know it's it's, it's uh, Etsy is big. And don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I yeah. realize that. But um, but there's I, alternatives. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And 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 I just you know. I don't for some reason I just don't look there first, but I should, probably should. Uh, yeah, for a lot it kind of depends stuff, what you're looking for, for, right? Like if you're looking yeah. for artsy stuff, it kind of makes sense. If you're looking for a lot mm -hmm. of other stuff, like no point really. Probably you can, right. you can probably find it cheaper elsewhere and better elsewhere. Right. So yeah, yeah, cool. All right, well, uh, so let's um, let's go ahead and show off your uh, your site. Let me uh, let me pull that up. Let me uh, change the background here so we don't have an overlay on top of your stuff here. Okay, and click this and click this. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> All right, here we go. Promise I am prepared. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah, you can see some of the Sea of Thieves items up there. That ship I don't sell anymore. That was that ended up being so complicated to uh, to deal with that it wasn't ended up not being worth it in most cases, but I actually did sell a couple of those to uh, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, for his his tabletop Sea of Thieves adventuring that he used to do back in the day, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. That is very cool. Very cool. I like Freddie Prince a lot. He's a uh, yeah. pretty, uh, pretty awesome guy. Big Star Wars guy, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He's into all the nerddoms. He, yeah, he does tabletop stuff. He loves yeah all that stuff. Yep. But yeah, that's uh, wow. Well, and I love the use of the integration of the lighting that you put in there. Yeah, yeah. 
try to do lots of that, get a lot of a lot of attention of streamers that way, so we can, you know, people love to have something glowing behind them, right? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. <clears throat> yeah. So you know, let me ask you this: the like the skulls, for example, mm -hmm. um, do they come in different sizes, or is it just a pretty much a stock size? Um, we usually just do one size, sort of a stock size. It's about um, we try to match it up roughly to in, in the game. It's a little bit smaller than like the player's head skull would be, but it's it sort of sits in your hand real nice. And we mm -hmm. wanted to make something that would sit in your hand kind of similar to that. So it's it's a it's slightly smaller than like your uh like, like a softball human size? skull. No, it's bigger than that. it's probably than that. Okay. somewhere between a softball and a football, I would say. Somewhere maybe okay. halfway between that. I think it's like I don't know, seven inches deep or by like four and a half or by five or whatever, something like that. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely going to stand out. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 It's very cool. Especially when it's glowing, like, like those ones there are glowing. So, mm -hmm. so, and, and do you, I guess, um, was it just a, a process of like, obviously you have like, like it's the same, almost the same skull, but like all these different looks to it, mm -hmm. I guess, do you have like, uh, something sell better than the other or or is it just a or is it you always I yeah guess, so um, so the ones up. that yeah we the ones we do right now and it kind of just depends on what, if, if people have interest they can always reach out for like custom stuff but like a lot of this uh a lot of the stuff that we do right now it's mainly just a couple of these like there's that skull that you see there mm -hmm. um the top which is also sort of below it a little bit as well um we saw that we saw a little chest like from sea of thieves as you can kind of see there like the athena uh, mm -hmm. chest of legends and we saw like the all the different cannonballs uh as well as a bunch of different light boxes and some other stuff so um but with regard to like the differentiation um the way we do it so garrett the the, the 3d modeler that works for me he will sort of have the sort of the base kind of skull and then he'll modify it as needed um and there's quite a bit of modification quite a bit of stuff like topology changes and everything you have to do Mm -hmm. um, and then him and I will sit down and try to figure out like, okay, how can we like, what parts of these would we want to be like sort of in plastic or 3d printed? What parts would we want to be, uh, cast as like kind of transparent or translucent kind of, uh, colors like the, 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 the main one there, that guy with like that sort of black one, he's actually got, it's kind of hard to see and notice it in that image. Uh, but that stronghold skull there, it's actually got like sort of like gem like kind of translucent clear eyes uh, that the light sort of diffuses through. Um, but whenever he's designing that, we have to figure out like exactly what we want to, how we want to make the different parts of it. Uh, and then we'll kind of collaborate on that from a logistics point of view. And then um, eventually we'll 3D print it. We'll, I'll build a uh, get it all textured and, and and sort of make it together the way I like it and the size and everything goes together the way I like it. And then we'll, I'll build a mold for it, like a silicone mold for it. And then we'll cast it out of uh out of resin, make them pretty quickly that way. So it's very cool. I love the, I love the detail and stuff. And it, uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. You know, it, it just, it, it looks almost like, you know, movie set quality if that makes sense you know <laughs> we've been I mean? we've been contacted a few times by people wanting to do uh or interested in doing things like uh movie set stuff um uh in each case i was they would always contact in the middle of like you know december and it's like i've got so many orders i have to juggle in holidays <laughs> i right. can't commit to anything right now i think we had somebody was doing like a it was some uh it was uh, i would almost describe it as like half amateur half professional almost because there was like some connected people who had like some good like professional actors um in i want to say it was like germany or something like that mm -hmm. a couple of years ago who were doing like a batman thing some sort of batman like little like fan film series but with actual like right. some some real named people i guess and uh <clears throat> they reached out and they wanted us to do all sorts of ma like do all the math for them. And we were like, Whoa, I don't think we can, I can't commit to that much right now. Uh, so I told them yeah, that that's a lot of work. Reach out and Oh yeah. And it's, it's a lot of work and it's like, it's over there in Germany. So it's like, okay, I'm going to make stuff and what ship it to you. And that's going to take forever. Like yeah. what happens if 
we need to ship a new thing. Then we have to wait another like, you know, couple weeks or whatever. Like that doesn't seem like a great like workflow, but I would love to you know, take part in it. But like it was hard to hard to turn that one down, but had to do it anyway. So that's very cool. It's very cool. So I get all right. So, so you have the, the props and then you have the, I guess, um, light, the boxes light boxes too. Yeah. So how, how did that come into to play? <sighs> I don't remember where I got. Th- so I, I saw, I think I saw somebody probably had made a light box somewhere. And I remember thinking like, that is just I like, I, I like deck, like decor, like nerdy decor kind of stuff. And it's like, this is, I like that it's lit up. I like it wasn't a gaming one. It was for some other thing, but I remember thinking like, this was really cool. Like just layers of paper that are super intricately cut. Mm-hmm. but in a frame and then you light it like you backlight it in, in, in cool ways. And it's like, man, that it did this looked really neat. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, you know, it kind of dawned on me that if I could find somebody to help me like kind of work through the logistics of this, we could probably design a bunch of these things that are more, more nerdy uh, sort of style, like, you know, more like game related or kind of film related kind of stuff. So, um, actually I have two artists that I work with on those to help, uh, get the designs put together. Uh, and then I mass produce them. Um, so as best as I can, uh, try to get those. Mm-hmm. It usually takes probably about a couple of weeks, two to three weeks to get those, get those together just because I have to go through the process of labor, uh, laser cutting them and all that. But, um, but it's, it's, yeah, it's the, we, we started out with, I think three or four of those. I think the first one we probably did. Well, we did two. We did Bioshock, the Bioshock one, and we did um, uh, the Sea of Thieves one. And those were both super popular. So we sold hundreds of those. So we ended up um, thinking, hey, let's go ahead and branch out to other stuff. So we even sell a few things that are even, you know, PlayStation themes. You can see the the Kratos one there mm-hmm. um, and some other stuff. So don't dare to put anything with Nintendo uh, for the most part. But usually. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, you got to be careful. There, there is Zelda right there, though, although we're not going to mention that one. <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. I'm back to almost the crowd. Uh, Hello. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, look, Power World. Go over there. Go look at that. Yeah, yeah look what I can do. <laughs> Are you doing Power World stuff? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, we might look at it. I have to kind of see. I need to play the game at some point and give it a shot and kind of see like what would even make sense because it's kind of that's kind of almost like the hardest part, right? Is like yeah, of any of this stuff. It's like you. Like we'll get, especially the sea of these people, they'll say, you know, hey, we, I got this idea for a prop, and you know, they'll be like, could you do this as a custom thing? And it's like, I could do those things, sure, but it's like, then you have to juggle, like, okay, this is going to take an enormous amount of time and effort and creativity and problem solving yeah. to figure out. If I could do that, it needs to, you know, kind of be worth. You need to be, you got to be able to sell to more than just one person, and a lot of, of times, yeah. you know, it, this person wants like one specific super niche thing. Um, so we usually only do that kind of stuff. It's I, like I had a couple of times where there was some guy who like proposed to his uh, girlfriend. And so we did like a special thing for them, which is pretty nice. cool. There's a couple of times we had people order things for weddings and we did a like custom stuff for like those situations. Um, so, yeah, some of that stuff we do, you know, custom, but other uh, most of it we kind of try to shy away from unless we're unless we're having a downtime and we need, you know, have all that free time to build stuff. So usually we're pretty right. Busy. Uh, I tell you, with the um, with Power World, my my first thought that comes to my mind is the spheres. Mm. I don't know if you've seen that or not at all. Not but, yet, uh, but as you, as yeah, you collect yeah. them, they're pretty yeah. cool. And they're basically okay. a ball okay. that has like we have a line around it where it'd be kind of separated, you know, kind of thing. And then it would uh, to, to opens up to catch kind of like a pokeball, but not a pokeball. It's called a sphere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they have a some detail creative, out that, yeah, and then and then they glow so and they have different okay. colors and stuff so i'm just saying that just seems like that would be ripe is it like a little hand like they hold their hand kind of thing yeah 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 about the size of a okay. softball maybe a little bigger say, it looks like I, I found i just now that you mentioned i just found a image that kind of looks like it has like a little blue glowing with like some gold trim around it or something like that there you go yeah maybe maybe we could we could look into that for sure it's and, and all like, the rage right now so exactly that idea and I, I believe, like, the different levels of balls, the legendary and all that kind of stuff, it's just a matter of there's still the basic art to all of them, but then it's yeah, just yeah. the color is different. Mm-hmm. So maybe if you had it where it could change the two That's the actually a really colors. good idea. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know. I'll look into that now. 
And uh, my cut will be no. I'm just yeah, kidding. Exactly. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But uh, but I would just say if if it's if it's something simple and you can you can get on the bandwagon as it were, why not? Right? Oh yeah, that, exactly. So, really cool. Really cool. And you have a very very high rating, so <laughs> people need to make. Oh uh, sure yeah, we've got I don't know, that. 14, 1500 something like that. I think reviews, and it's per basically perfect for the most part. Uh, I think it's like 4.95 or something. I don't forget how they score it, but pretty That's happy really, with it. You know, pretty happy with it. Higher than Elden Ring, right? So, I mean, hey, you're doing something right. <laughs> so I feel. Oh, that's hilarious. That's funny. Eat your heart yeah, up, yeah. Skate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and it's so many unique ones. I, I love, like, you know, like the Batman, the Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. That's, I yeah. love that one. That's really cool. Yeah. My favorite one, personally, mm -hmm. this is maybe a little, a little bit bias in a sense but the uh the sea of thieves one that's like sort of dual colors so if you scroll up you can kind of see i like that doom one a lot too though i'm a big fan of that one but that sea of thieves one on the right so go down a couple rows and it'll be on the right side like a skull there you go that one right there yeah so yeah click on that guy you can kind of see that it's um it said it so there's dual color for and you click through the different pictures you can kind of see some of the different sort of uh things there some of the different ways that, and that, that's actually set up so that um with one strand of lights you can have these dual colors uh that sort of light up things pretty differently that's that's my that's my my, my buddy fuzzy there showing them off he's a cfe streamer um nice but i love I, I really like that that we were able to come up with a way of doing sort of a dual color with a single strip of lights uh that that um uh, can sort of give you the the sort of dual color so we click through with the remote like you can click through all the different colors of the remote and it'll kind of give you different pairings for everyone which is pretty cool so and 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 that you could also do that with a sphere too just you know yeah 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 no i'm I, I'm, I'm genuinely gonna look looking at the, the sphere thing that's actually a because like i mean power is like the biggest thing in the universe right now right so, <laughs> it is pretty big I'll, I'll give you that yeah very cool very cool yeah. well dude that's that is so awesome so um i guess like uh, obviously around the holidays it gets to be kind of uh hectic for you i know yeah um yeah. And um, and you're obviously you're always open to new ideas, new games, new yeah. things like that that can you know that you can you know that can incorporate in them. And I think that's good too because that's the way to continue to to grow a business and to continue to yeah. uh, you know to to get so many you know different types of uh, franchises and IPs and things like that that you could uh, you know that you could definitely emulate really nicely. So yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's at really one point. Stuff. In the in the height of the Sea of Thieves stuff, because that's where we where we started for a long time. We focused on mm -hmm. Sea of Thieves stuff, and I think we got, I think thirty eight or thirty nine different listings just for Sea of Thieves. Right now, I think I got like thirty eight or thirty nine in total. At one point, I had like thirty or forty different just for Sea of Thieves, different props and everything, and it was like. Mm -hmm gets the holiday time and it's like okay i've got 30 or 40 things i got you know four or five hundred orders across 30 or 40 different things and it's like oh my gosh yeah. like, i gotta keep track of all and then people want like you know little notes for like you know merry christmas grandma or you know whatever all these different things or like one of them was like one of them i i i, I decided okay from now we're not doing notes because it's just too much <laughs> to juggle right. Uh, and then I had somebody who's, you know, I saw their note that they wanted to include was, will you marry me? And I was like, oh my God. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do this person's note. And then, uh, <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you'll have that kind of thing where like, you see these like really nice, you know, notes and it's like, okay, I guess, I guess I'll do that. But like, I tell you though, that, you know, just the, the sort of feedback, not, not just the reviews or whatever, which are you know, always great. You know, I like seeing, mm -hmm. you know, nice reviews, obviously it's gratifying, but like just the people writing to you like on uh you know in etsy and sending you a message and saying you know i showed this to my my son and he was you know he's been really depressed because the dog died or whatever it was a couple of weeks ago and uh -huh. and he his eyes lit up and i've never seen him so happy whenever it arrived and he's just been showing all of his friends and stuff like that and it's like oh you know that that's a pretty awesome sort of uh you know feeling to be able to to feel like you're having an impact on on people like that so uh, you know keeps you going you know really, really oh yeah great. most keeps definitely interesting stuff so that is so cool dude so cool get back to that one there we go all righty well like i said uh, hopefully uh um, from this video you'll you're gonna get some more traction <laughs> yeah hopefully <laughs> and, more uh, the merrier 
more than merits. It's a great, actually a good time because we've just sort of worked through a, in uh, January. We kind of get caught up on a lot of the the stuff that we're doing in the uh, from the holiday season. So the the turnaround time, which kind of gets uh, sort of lengthened uh, during the mm -hmm. holiday as we kind of have to manage, you know, the flow of stuff. Um, yeah. is starting to come way back down. So now it's usually about a couple of two or three weeks is usually what we're looking at for getting stuff out to people now. So it's a lot. That's good. A lot quicker right now for anybody who orders. So very cool. I might have to order one of these skulls for my daughter. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. She likes the Skyrim for sure. Oh, I love that's a good that's a good one. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that one. Very cool. Very cool. Tavis, this was this has been awesome, man. Thank you so much for letting us dig into your to your yeah. site and to your to your craft, as it were. And sure. um, yeah, so if you don't mind, uh, tell everybody where they can reach out to you, and where they can find you, and where they want to talk about orders or things like that. Where they can yes, so reach if they you go at. to Etsy.com and just search for Nerd Propellants, as you can kind of see the Etsy shop there, you'll recognize it. And I think mm -hmm. you're gonna have like the link right to the to the Etsy yep. shop probably in the description. You can go right to it. Um, and if somebody wants to buy something, don't forget if you use, I, I believe it's Gamers Council 20 all caps or something like that, I believe, uh, for the coupon code, you'll you'll be able to save yourself 20% off of these, off of any order you, you want. So Gonna um, look it up there's no right like now, limit to that or anything like that. So people can just use that to their heart's content. Very nice. All right. Yeah. So I'm clicking the description of our last video and we have it there as... It is Gamers Council. Just okay. that's it. Nothing, nothing else. Just says Gamers Council. Gamers Council. All caps. Yep. One big, one big long word code, cool, as it were. Cool. So, but I'll I'll make sure I include that uh, in the description of this video, so people can definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, awesome. And then, and then, uh, you know, hopefully, if you do decide to do something with the uh, PAL spheres or whatever, you let me know so I can. I, uh, I absolutely will. That. I will. I will look. In, I will look into that. Uh, probably today or tomorrow genuinely because i i didn't I, I because i haven't played it like i don't really have right. a, have a have a angle on like what are the quote unquote like iconic things that people would recognize and would want that kind of represents something meaningful to them in, in that that game space yeah. um because that's the kind of thing you know you want to sort of look at uh, yeah it's like okay i could potentially maybe make some of these and my people might want to have like something sort of pulled out of the game into the real world that they can show mm -hmm. their friends or to have as cool decor uh, for them or whatnot so yeah absolutely that, that would be a good one and then and then even you know, obviously i think it would you could probably do a light box too you've seen some of the cover art stuff i'm sure oh yeah 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 something like yeah, that could be uh finessed into a really cool light box as well yeah oh yeah definitely there definitely you know. interested in the power world stuff they're yeah. very interesting well i'm really enjoying playing man it's close to 50 right now so i'm uh <laughs> probably by the time this airs i'll be 50 in the oh game. wow and, uh, so i love it it's a yeah, lot of fun is it um yeah i see you online all the time playing it. i'm like i don't <laughs> want to bother him i'm sure he's doing his power world stuff um but like the it, it's interesting like how um, how eager i think and maybe a little bit over eager so many people were to kind of come up with reasons to dismiss the game or to mm -hmm. you know and then you know some of those complaints kind of fell by the wayside and and then i think as people finally got a little bit of uh distance between some of the sort of controversy and actually got to check out the actual game loops and everything i think there's probably just from what and i haven't played it but just from what i've seen like dinko bakaba and other folks describe on twitter it sounds like there's a lot of really interesting and and well-designed game mechanics and game loops and everything there so it sounds like it'd be quite quite a good time quite compelling for sure yeah i i i, I tell you I, I sorry my son and my daughter Huge Pokemon players. I didn't really like Pokemon too much. I didn't really get into it at all mm -hmm. until the Switch version came out. The mm -hmm. Let's Go Pikachu or whatever it was called. I bought that because <laughs> my my son wanted to play, and there was <clears throat> and it was also a tie in with Pokemon Go, which I played a lot for a while. No longer addicted to that. Thank God. You're wandering oh, around yeah. the streets with your with your phone out like a maniac. You go down to the we have, we have a park uh, downtown. And we you know, pull into the park, and it's like you know, eighty different Pokestops because yeah. of all the different things in the park. <clears throat> they got tagged as a as a Pokestop, so it was really easy to take a little walk and just, doo -doo -doo. but it, enough of that. But uh, but and so it was like you know, although that was kind of cool, it was kind of fun. And so I thought, well, I'll give us a try. And it's 
it has so so little to do with Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've heard that. Yeah. There, there's the there's the catching kind of thing, you know, but you don't cut up your Pokemon, but you can in, in this game. You can cut up your pals <laughs> if you want to, you know, yeah. you can shoot them. And of course, they're, they're just stunned and sleeping. They're not really dead. No big blood. They're throwing a splatter. farm upstate. Yeah. Right, exactly. 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 You know, and you can put them to work. <laughs> I mean, but anyway, it's, you know, it's, it's so much fun and you can build bases and stuff. And of course my first base, I thought, you know, this is so cool. And like, you know, Oh wow. I can build it like, mm-hmm. I mean, like 50, 60 stories tall. We were having a blast building this thing. Of course I didn't realize that, uh, <clears throat> wasn't thinking, I guess about the game mechanics. And I got raided once by a fire group and, uh, all that burned to the ground. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't in a matter of second. I'm just going to see it at all. Just, <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah, it was it was not a good day it was like to me two hours to just clean up the mess before I no. and i'm like hey everything else is gonna be built with stone yeah yeah and then <laughs> like steel little red riding hood and you're learning the lessons <laughs> of that as, yeah you know. it's exactly the, the, the three little pigs right yeah <laughs> oh goodness 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 yeah so but but it's it's a lot of fun i think i think you should give you have game pass just ask you that oh, right now course. yeah yeah I'm, a, I'm an xbox guy of course see yeah. there you go yeah, yeah. it's free free included in your game pass service quote, 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 free yeah yeah Absolutely. exactly and, yeah, I'll probably uh, give it a shot one of these days. I need to. I know my fiance's played it; she likes it. So, I'll, I'll well, there you go. That. There you go. Maybe you could do that. bounce it off of her, see what she thinks. If there's anything in the game that oh, might, yeah, be, that's that's a good point. That might be, uh, you know, workable as it were. Sure, sure. Oh Absolutely. goodness, yeah, yeah. Travis, oh, yeah. it is so cool to have you on, and I really appreciate you being here today. And um, and like I said, I, all the links and everything will be in the description below. And uh, we'll let you we'll let you get on out of here. And thank everybody so much for joining us here on Outbreak Gamers. Good to.